In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a section through this guide objects and then import a highly detailed 2D CAD section in a separate view as a detailed callout from the main building section. First of all, we will change the view from a 3D view to a plan view. From the plan view, we will create a new section view. Go to the view toolbar choose section and draw a line on the plan view where you want the section to be located. The dashed line shows the depth of the section view. On this double arrow we can change the direction of the section view. In other words we can flip the sectional view we will choose a shallow section view. We can also move the location of the section. Now you can see in our project browser that a section view has been created which is named section 1. This is the view we have just created. If we double click on this section we will see the section view on the screen. If we move closer to the module, we see a very generic detail as well as quite thick lines. Both the line weight and the detail display level can be changed for the VLUX modular skylights right here. To further detail the section view with brackets, vapour barrier and insulation, we can import the VLUX CAD section drawing directly into Revit. For this CAD section we will create a drafting view with a callout from this view in order to be able to switch between the overall section view and the detail section view. So in the view toolbar we click on the drafting view. and in the project browser we see that a new drafting view has been created. If we click on it we get the drafting view on the screen ready for the CAD detail drawing. We import the CAD detail by going to the insert toolbar and click the import CAD button and then we go to the location of the downloaded CAD section drawing and choose the correct drawing which then lands on our drafting view. For this detail section, we will make a callout from the main building section. Therefore, we go back to the main building section and choose the location for the callout. We might actually want to rename the drafting view name, giving it a proper description in case we end up with many different drafting views in this project. In our section view, we make a callout by choosing the callout button on the view toolbar. In this callout, we would like to refer to the particular detail section and therefore we check the reference of the view box and choose the correct drafting view from the drop down menu and then we simply make a frame around the callout area. We now have a callout to a view and if we right click on the frame and choose the go to view option we jump directly to our detail section view. You can actually modify this section view further in the way that you would do a regular 2D CAD drawing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to know more about Felix Modular Skylights, please visit our website 